Yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much for seeing me here again on Renegade Crew TV. To all of my nice and decent people out there, all my viewers and subscribers. Today, I want to go ahead and talk a little bit about, about Tommy Lee Sparta. Well, Tommy Lee Sparta is set to be released from prison here pretty soon. It is big rumor noting out there right now that he is planning with him and his lawyers are planning to to the police station and the, the police department for wrongfully arresting him and detaining him for, you know, well over a month now. You know, with no charges, just holding him as being a person of interest. Now, I know there's mixed ideas and there's mixed you know, advice for Tommy Lee Sparta out there saying that um, maybe he shouldn't uh, sue the police department or that he should. And I'm going to tell you where I stand on this case. In this case, I think that he should go ahead and sue the police department. And the reason why is because if he don't do something... Now, they will continue to do it over and over and over and over and over again. It seems like they don't care about holding every time there's some type of state of emergency. They find him, hold him, and then use that as an excuse, saying that he's a person of interest. And this is about the third or fourth year that he's been held and detained for, for a good amount of time without any charges and been found unguilty of course they did they did find him uh one time but that's that's a that's a completely different situation but even in that time he was found not guilty and the case was dismissed so i feel sad that if they don't if he don't go ahead and sue him you know the police department will continue to go ahead and hold him. And I'm not saying that all police uh, officers are bad. Because, of course, you know that there are good people out there. So you got to take it with a grain of salt. you got to take the good with the bad. Of course, if you have good people and you have bad people, guess what? Guess what, my folks? You're gonna, that means you're going to have good um, police officers and you're going to have bad police officers. So in those cases, that's exactly what's going to happen. And um, I believe that that's something that he would need to do, you know, for the time that was that was that was taken away from him. It was taken away from him from time from his music. Even more important than that, even more important than the music and the entertainment. I know that's a way for him to go ahead and take care of family. But yes, his family is way more important than that. You know, he has all of that is his children. You know, Tommy Lee has a daughter. He has he has boy. He has sons, and during the time he was in jail, he was missing his children, and they, in turn, of course, was missing him. So. You can't just let it go by and just let this be another slap on the wrist and no, I think something should happen to deter them from holding him if he hasn't done anything wrong. Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that if he does do something wrong in the future that they shouldn't go ahead and do their job, you know, but that's neither here nor there. Next up, I want to go ahead and talk about the vibes called tell there's a perfect segue talking about another gaza uh, nation alumni and that is the world boss vibes called tell now recently 
Cardi B and Megan Thee Stallion, the two female rappers from United States, went ahead and released a really, really raunchy, and in this case, Vibes Cartel, release a kind of like a freestyle to that song, a kind of fix tape, if you will. And when he did, that was, he added his, he added his own season into it, put it that way. So much so that Cardi B herself said, you know what? You have to release that. And she's going ahead and hit her stamp of approval on that. Now, I know in the past, she has stated that Vibes Cartel is her favorite artist of all time. Whether hip hop, whether, you know, reggaeton, you know, that she is um, Hispanic as well. She's a mix between um, Hispanic and Trinidadian, right? And so I add that. But she says Vibes Cartel is her favorite artist. So there's notice to say, that considering that she is married to a, a rap artist as well, as well um, you know, that says a lot. You know, so, Vibes Cartel keep going by the thing, you know what I mean? And also, she was also um, noted as recently saying that she wanted to um, start at OnlyFans page. So, all of you out there who do want to um, be more involved with... Um, with Cardi B and her family, which she stated that um, she will not be doing anything uh, X-rated or anything like that. This is just a way for her and her fans. Um, she can be herself and she can she can show how she is with her, you know, her her daughter and her husband, and you know, yes. And she also stated there is some bad times. But there's also some good time. There's some laughter. Uh, there's some love and affection. And, there, and that's what she wants to show. The good side of black love. Also, you know, it seems like Shamsia, uh, she wants to go ahead and get into the phenomenon. Where she says she wants to go ahead and get a little bit of that money too. We don't know um, what manner and how she wants to do it. But... You know, usually you think about it, you know, during the pandemic, these artists are able to go out and make money, travel the globe and get the money, you know? But now, because everything is on lockdown now, everybody can't go out and do what they need to do, you know? So, while she's home... Yeah, I think that's something she might want to go into, especially since you hear Ashana said that yeah, she doesn't have to do anything um, crazy, and she's making millions. She's in a recent on stage. Yes, on a recent on stage interview, uh, Ashana admitted that she made millions on an uh, Instagram page as well. So maybe there's something out there. You know, for that. It's a new phenomenon. Everybody's jumping right on it and making money here and there. I even hear um, the Louisiana little Boosie who's been making a lot of money. Where But Mark Zuckerberg shut down his, his page because, I don't know, but he shut down his page and he begged for him to open his... Uh, his uh, Instagram page because he needs to make his money for his children. But, you know, comment down below. Tell me what you think. Do you think um, Tommy Lee should go ahead and uh, sue the police department? Do you think Shinzia should uh, get an OnlyFan page? Comment down below. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. And don't forget to hit the post notification button because anytime you hit the post notification and I drop a new video, you will be notified. All right. Like always, I want everybody to live good, be good, and goodbye.